been having a look on the internet for a good instructional video on how to uh, lift a tongue and groove floorboards from an old flooring system and I couldn't find anything very good so this is just a quick demo of how I'm doing it. First of all I use this power drill to drill holes between uh, two floorboards at um, regular intervals. Choose a plank probably towards the middle of the room and drill holes, find out where the nails are which indicate the position of the joists beneath nails are here and here so we're going to drill halfway and choose a point halfway between the rows of nails drill down with a hole big enough to take the tip of the uh, jigsaw and we're going to zip uh, with the jigsaw along the joining line in the, in the floorboard, between the floorboards so that one board can be lifted out. So we have to do both sides of one board and I have chosen this one which is going to be I'm going to label them all A1, A2, A3 so that I can reassemble the floor precisely which when you think about it is important in terms of uh, overlapping tongue and groove lengthways I won't get too fussed about that. So, a quick demo here. Choosing that point halfway between that row of nails and this row of nails. Now, I already know which side the tongue's on, but I, because I've partially dismantled the floor already. So, I choose a precise position of the um, jigsaw blade so that just the tongue gets cut, or at least, yeah, the tongue gets cut but not eating into the wood directly behind the tongue. Me. <laughs> That's no right. loss. 
So I'll move you guys across here and show you what can, where are we? I'm going to show you what can be done with uh, an ancient pick, a strong pick with a strong handle. Now these boards have already been nail punched. So this, uh, this ancient tool with uh, a slightly split handle that's been bound with gaffer tape. The, the pointy end of the pick here can be used as a lever, or lever if you prefer. And we try and take, well it depends, I can take it one and a half boards or two and a half boards, but what I know works is one and a half boards. Actually no, I've already started lifting these ones. So I'm already halfway through the job. Resting the butt of the pick on the, on the joist, on the timber joist, putting the tip of the pick about one and a half boards across and then with a swift pull, it's possible to lift the boards off the punched nails. On that occasion I've torn a uh, a section of brittle timber and broken the tongue and groove. The whole idea of this is to lift it up in sh small sections and not um, so we're gently trying to lift the boards up at an angle um, without breaking the tongue and groove because these the whole of this is to Preserve the timber for reuse once we fix the um, joists and bearers. It's quite a tedious process. It's going to be breaking more here. Some of these are coming out. Some of these have come out with very well preserved tongue and groove. But there will be some casualties. Overall, I think it's worth the effort in order to be able to not put this timber in landfill where it would become a source of methane to aggravate global warming. Come on! There's a bit of cracking going on here. And so on. After doing this across the full length of the roof, it will be possible to take out at least the first uh, plank here and then Continue gently levering them all up one plank at a time. But the, the point about this is that the underside of the, uh, the floorboard has to be lifted up above the top of the, the punched nail. And in this case, the punched nail is only uh, is, is at least a finger's width lower than the bottom of the floorboard so I'll probably leave it up to a greater extent than was actually necessary. Oh, that's a tough one. They must be really rusty nails. But we've, 
Despite this, we still have two thirds of a length of timber with of tongue and groove timber with that can be reused. You just cut off this split bit at the end and admit that we have to buy a few uh, a few lengths to uh, finish re reflooring the room. That's it.